Okay, so I am at uh, a beautiful home out in Seymour, Tennessee. But man, are we talking secluded. Um, this seclusion is one of a kind. That is an outbuilding, a shed and a carport. And I'm gonna pan around this way. That's it. So this home is nestled on some type of a ridge, if you will. And the driveway is very, it's a dirt gravel kind of driveway and we're going to take a look at the home here in just a minute sometimes I find out about property that people don't know about and this is one of them love to help you if you have a desire to talk about this home it is not openly on the MLS but it is something that we can help you find and sell to you I'm on the deck it's got a really cool wooded view the road I came in is way down there and it is a dirt road that comes in for a few miles to get to the property and you come up a really fun kind of steep incline on a dirt gravel road and we're going to take a quick walk inside now it looks like they've done some renovation we're going to see that in just a minute. I want to quickly walk on this side and see what we've got. So, replacement doors have been put in. And, not quite sure what that was. There's your good old satellite dish. Looks like two very good fresh air conditioning units might be placed in the unit as well. House has got some great vinyl siding. It's a two-story home and it is in a very secluded area. I'd have to pull up a lot line for you. Again, if you have some interest, we could we'd find that out. But you don't have any neighbors. I'm not quite sure why the fencing is here, but it looks like it might have been to keep some animals in on the other side. So that may be the end of the property line. I just don't know until I do a little more homework. Again, that must have had a pretty bad door, as you can see, some wood rot and so forth, and it has been addressed. Let's take a walk inside. Okay. Looks like we got some natural wood, which would be nicely painted in white to maybe give it a shiplap look. Got an elevated fireplace. That's a wood burner. That's a steel box with the fabricated panels. Pretty, pretty normal stuff. This is the patio that I was just out on. That's cool. Or deck. What do we have here? Looks like a laundry tub, laundry room, and this square down, stick down tile floor. Um, this has got a water system, and you've got a well outside and a pump. That I saw when I pulled up. So you're on a well, and I'm certainly you're going to be on a septic field as well. This is your breezeway or foyer entrance to that door we saw replaced out front. So not a very dramatic entrance, and it could certainly be improved upon and made real pretty. Uh, the kitchen looks like they took everything but the kitchen sink, literally. The kitchen sink is here but you're missing your refrigerator. You're missing the cooktop range, the wall oven. So a lot of times when there's a wasp bank at a home over there, we're gonna avoid him at all costs. Anyhow, um, this has gotta be a repossession from a bank. And again, that appears to be the relationship I'm working with. I'm working directly with a uh, remarketer within the banking organization, so. Vinyl floors, fiberglass tub and shower. Pretty straightforward, pretty normal. Uh, this is a laminate and a pretty cheap one at that. You can see we're starting to come up there. So this is livable and usable, but definitely something you'd replace in this one bedroom for sure. Um, that's the same laminate in this room. And this material gets, when this material gets wet, 
the seams make it separate and come apart and that's what I'm seeing honestly the lion's share of it looks pretty good that one bedroom has got some problems so it's not a bad place to start uh, from here I would definitely go up from there it's probably just a closet there's your pantry so again looking at this we see this a lot it used to be the banks would auction off and sell stuff cheap and that's where all the investors came in that's not the case anymore what's happening is the banks are putting property managers in charge to make improvements and they're reselling their their properties this one's been repainted this is an unfinished attic area and up here We got work to do if you want to use this for a legitimate space. Just fluorescent lights. I don't see any HVAC or duct work up here, so you would truly need to condition this space with a separate unit. Real easy to do, but no, it's not been done so far. This is just a quick look at the vent pipe. I wanted those to be for the fireplace, and I'm not sure what the smaller one's for, but that gives you a quick look at everything. Looks like a well-built home. Doesn't look like there's any water leakage or any problems with the roof because you'd be seeing it all over the place up here. Making my way back down. Now we're gonna walk into, oh, there's the other pipe. Look at that, folks. The smaller pipe is for a wood-burning stove, which again, they took. <laughs> um, when people lose their home, a lot of times they strip out everything that they can take with them that has value. It's a nice master closet with some really poor shoe organizers added to it, but a nice size master closet. I'm not quite sure what this little niche would be for, but you do have double sinks in here and a little more modern. You've got a toilet and you've got a fairly decent looking shower that isn't complete. Uh, wouldn't take a whole lot to frame that off and put a nice glass door in or maybe eliminate the wall and put a big glass door in. Uh, but that's pretty straightforward. Um, so the master is pretty nice. We'll walk up the hallway. Bedroom number two. Bedroom number three. Upstairs bathroom. This is vinyl flooring, kind of crummy. Fiberglass tub. Okay, so up here we've got a master. We've got one, two, three bedrooms, or four bedrooms all, all told upstairs. Um, I'm gonna head back downstairs again. And just to recap, it's a good size home. They've got actually wood steps here. And they've got a laminate threshold or a toe kick on them, which is coming off up the top. Definitely house needs flooring. Um, so on the first floor, again, we've got another bedroom, another bedroom. Um, and again, that full bath. So you've got upstairs four bedrooms, including the master. Um, you've got the master bath and you've got a full bath upstairs. You've got a bath downstairs, two bedrooms downstairs. Makes a great space if you've got uh, in-laws or elderly folks uh, because they are on the same level living with the laundry and with the kitchen. So you really have a pretty simple time. You just need to build yourself a nice entryway that would get them in. We're about, about two feet off the ground. So you want to build a nice pathway and a deck to get them in nice level land and get them inside. But uh, you got a big family and got a couple older folks to take care of. This might be a nice fit for you, especially if you're looking for a good value. You got to have front wheel drive minimum to get up here, uh, but you don't necessarily need a four wheel drive vehicle. I'm driving a, a, a Hyundai Tucson front wheel drive in it and it made it up with no problem so hopefully that helps you a little bit 
I'll, I'll give you guys a ride down the hill here in just a moment. Okay, as promised, I'm going to take a drive down the uh, driveway. Again, it's a gravel driveway. I made it up in a front wheel drive Hyundai Tucson. Not horrible. Uh, definitely not for the faint of heart either. Uh, as you get through this, you make a pretty harsh turn here. You don't want to hang a wheel over that edge of that road. Um, not the worst thing in the world, like I said, but this isn't the worst of it. Once we get off the property, <laughs> well, hello. <laughs> that dog has a has a problem with me. Okay, this was the fascinating part. This is the road that leads to the property. I'm going to roll up my window because I'll end up taking a mud bath. The sides of my car are covered. So, again, just somebody that's adventurous and wants to be in seclusion. A little mud on the tires never upsets them. But it's something you should be aware of if you'd like to look at this home and talk about it. Um, let's do just that. Love to introduce you to property that you cannot get your hands on just any old place. Um, if you like living a little bit off the grid and you don't have a desire to be near neighbors, this could be just the place for you. And woohoo! A little splash of mud, a little excitement of a of a bit of an off-road feeling. Give me a call. Let me know. We'll talk about it some more. I'm coming up to the pavement now. Thanks for watching.